cancer. It's the most lethal of cancers, not because of its nature, but because it's commonly picked up later. Most patients, when they present with symptoms, have later stages disease, and the likelihood of cure is lower. More than 225,000 people will learn they have lung cancer this year. Only 15% will live five years. Now doctors are able to pinpoint problems earlier than ever before. CT scans have obviously been available for quite some time. The big thing now is the, the faster, lower radiation uh, CT scans. CT scans can locate tumors as small as a half inch compared to x-ray, which can only detect one at least one inch in size. Chest x-rays are two-dimensional, CAT scans are three-dimensional. So that's really the biggest difference. You're actually doing slices through the chest to see the whole chest better versus a chest x-ray. It's not practical or productive to screen the entire population. The goal is to reach the most people who have the highest risk of disease. A major study is defining potential patients. It found benefit in using low-dose scans on people between the ages of 55 and 74, who averaged a pack of cigarettes a day for 30 years. Trials found a 20% reduction in death. We don't want to do 30-year-olds. We don't want to do 90-year-olds. We don't want to screen people who are not smokers. We want to follow the close guidelines that they used in the trial. Looking for lung cancer in the most likely people may lead to finding it early enough to make a difference. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.